happy first day of school, everyone. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci, and today we have lots of schools all across South Jersey beginning the new school year. And for today, we are in Galloway at the Smithfield School. Join with me are Caitlin and Miss Fernandez. They are going to tell us all about the wonderful school year ahead. But first, Caitlin, question for you. Are you excited to be back to school? Yes, I'm excited to be back at school. What's your favorite part of the first day? My favorite part of the first day is meeting my teachers and making new friends. Teachers like Miss Fernandez, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, all right. So, Miss Fernandez, uh, you teach science here for sixth grade. And tell us what's new and exciting at the school this year. What can students expect? Okay, hey, this year um, we are doing a science fair program. It's an after school enrichment program for our sixth graders. We're really, really excited about that. So, they will be able to participate in the scientific method and participate in a science fair at the end of the year. Okay, you said you teach a little bit about earth science too and you've been, you talk about disasters or natural disasters a little bit. What could people expect this year if they're in your class about natural disasters? Um, we talk a lot about earthquakes and plate tectonics. So we do do an um, earthquake proof building project where the students will try to construct an earthquake proof building and then we try to knock it down by simulating an earthquake in our classroom. It's one of their favorite projects. New Jersey, we've had an earthquake the past two years, so maybe we don't even need to do it yourself. It'll just naturally happen. Oh, well, well, let's hope not. Let's hope not. Now, you know, last question here. We're getting into September. We're over Labor Day weekend. Caitlin, what was your favorite part of summer? Um, my favorite part of summer was going to new places like the beach and the pool and having fun. Okay. Now, you said new places. Did you go anywhere away from New Jersey this summer? Yes, I went to Ocean City, Maryland. Ocean City, Maryland. Okay, how'd you like it? I loved it. But not as good as Ocean City, New Jersey, right? No. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, Caitlin, have a great year. Appreciate it. Ms. Fernandez, thank you so much. And speaking of Ocean City, Maryland, they're in a tropical storm. Watch today as we watch for Dorian to come on through the area today. All we're seeing from Dorian are just clouds. Temperatures will be in the mid-70s for today. We get that northeast wind blowing and that helps to stunt temperatures even though we started between 65 to 70 for today. I'm just going to jump into tomorrow because that is the main focus for us. The National Hurricane Center still has that cone of uncertainty well to our east. So that is good news for us. And I don't really see much has changed in the forecast compared to my thoughts really even two days ago. If you're along the shore, high risk of rip currents. There's going to be high surf. Wave heights are going to be 8 to 10 feet out on the Atlantic Ocean waters and there will be beach erosion. I've talked to some some people over in Cape May, talked to someone over in Margate, Chuck Labar, he's the OEM coordinator. They're monitoring the beach erosion, especially since they had some at the end of August. Now in terms of winds, at the shore, we are expecting 25 to 35 mile an hour sustained winds from the north and east. Gusts will be in the 40s. That's enough for isolated power outages. That's enough to turn any lawn furniture into projectile objects. And that's also enough to bring down a couple of small tree branches. So secure everything you have in place. This is going to be equivalent of a good nor'easter for us in terms of the wind. Nothing we haven't seen before, and that's going to be during the day on Friday. Now, on the mainland, winds 15 to 25 miles an hour, gusts in 30s. You'll call it a breezy day. And then lastly, we're looking at the rain here. Doesn't look like anybody's going to get over an inch of rain. I would say a half inch to an inch for those of you in the lower part of Cape May County. And along the shore over at Seacon Island into Atlantic City into Brigantine and Long Beach Island. And then the further west you go. Let's say you're in Hamilton. You might not even see a quarter of an inch of rain for this. And Western Cumberland will be around the same too. It's really going to be the lesser rain the further away you are. So overall, it's a brush by from Dorian. Yes, we will see some impacts, mainly at the shore, but it is not going to be sticking around for long. As we go into the weekend, we will be drying out. We will actually see a good amount of sunshine for late in the day on Saturday, Saturday afternoon into Sunday as well. Temperatures will be back in the 70s. Before we wrap up, I want to talk about coastal flooding with this storm as well. We will be going into minor flood stage, starting with the Friday afternoon high tide. I don't think everywhere sees minor flood stage Friday afternoon. I think actually the most impactful flood um, stage will be minor flood stage on Saturday afternoon as that storm pulls away. That will be enough to cause water on Bayside roadways. That will be enough to maybe close down a couple of the bridges for an hour or two around the high tide, but no inundation in homes or businesses. Well, let's focus on some good news. We've got first day of school right here at Smithville. Everyone's enjoying their breakfast here. We have kindergarten through second grade behind us. Thank you again to Ms. Fernandez and Caitlin. We will see you guys later. Today we'll be at Absa Gamby High School. We're staying in Galloway. High school football preview. 
as we go into our weekend. Take care, everybody.